Everyone knows that the world of warriors is governed by a set of immutable rules to warrior code. These rules include feeding the weak first, never killing unless in self-defense, and the gatherings are supposed to be peaceful. Without these 16 rules, the clans may surely fall into chaos. Like warrior cats, our world has rules without which it would fall into chaos. Where I live, it is the US legal system. What if, instead of living and dying by the rules of the warrior code, warrior cats were instead charged for their crimes? Today, we will be going over the crimes of Tigerstar and his obsessive lame little minion, Darkstripe. Quickly, let me explain one thing that might be different from what you would expect me to charge crimes with. Killing in battle will not count as killing unless the cat was defenseless like they were a kit, queen, elder, or a non-participant. This is because in warriors, killing in battle isn't considered as bad as murder. In addition, before we get started, if you are new to this channel, please think about subscribing. I regularly post both Wings of Fire and Warrior Cats content, so you'll never be bored. And to my current subscribers, thank you so much for supporting me. I wouldn't have gone here without y'all. Without further ado, let's move on to the crimes of Darkstripe. Let's start with not the main books, but one of the side stories, A Dark Path Chosen, where he encourages the younger warrior Longtail to join him to eat before a sick elder, who dies soon after they get back to camp. Longtail believes that he could have saved her just by giving her the food, but it is likely that she was too far gone already, and he just feels guilt over his actions. I was wondering if I could charge Darkstripe with anything in this situation. Manslaughter? No. But dereliction of duty? Yes. Dereliction of duty happens when one willingly fails to perform their duties that have been assigned to them. Darkstripe and Longtail were ordered to bring food back to camp, but failed to do so. This charge applies. Despite being close to Tiger Claw, who was constantly committing crimes, Darkstripe shockingly never committed a crime in the main series until Force of Secrets, the third book in the arc. His crime here is shockingly minor. He committed elder abuse. He was watching over Broken Tail, and when the kids started attacking him, he did nothing to intervene. That's all he does until way later, in a dangerous path. You might be thinking, but what about Tiger Claw's Rebellion, which was in Force's secrets as well? Can't he be charged with that? Darkstripe was shockingly actually unaware that anything was happening, until rogues attacked the camp. He didn't know that Tiger Claw had anything to do with it. He at first tried to say that Fireheart was wrong and Tiger Claw had never attacked the camp and would do nothing of the sort. However, he then accepts it. He doesn't leave with Tiger Claw, despite Tiger Claw asking him to, likely because he feels hurt that he wasn't trusted. Despite that, he still feels affection for the tyrannical Tom and complies with his orders. In a dangerous path, he finds out that Tiger Claw is now Tiger Star and is in control of Shadow Clan. This makes Darkstripe reconnect with him. He takes Bramble Kit and Tawny Kit out of camp to the Shadow Clan border to meet with their father one time. Cats under the age of six moons are not allowed to leave the camp except during an emergency. Darktail could possibly be charged with kidnapping under this, however, that's a bit flimsy. Instead, I'm going to charge him with child endangerment, as they could have been seriously injured. As Fireheart points out, it wasn't too long before that that Snow Kit was taken away by a hawk, and the same thing could have happened to the two kits. Darkstripe later conspired with Tigerstar to lead dogs to ThunderClan. The only cats who would be spared from that would be Tawnypaw and Bramblepaw, meaning that Tigerstar's former mate Goldenflower and Darkstripe's own mother Willowpelt and half-sibling Graystripe would all die. Despite that, the two went through with the plan. For this, I would charge him with use of a weapon of mass destruction, resulting in death, aiding and abetting. This is because dogs are a weapon of mass destruction within the canon of warrior cats, and they can easily wipe out a group of well-trained warriors if the warriors are not careful. Darkstripe tries to poison his half-sister Sorrel Kit after she finds out that he is aiding the enemy. Aiding the enemy is considered treason in the United States. What he did to Sorrel Kit counts as attempted murder, and since it is of a child, he would be charged very harshly. Soon after, he is exiled from ThunderClan and joins Tigerstar's newly formed TigerClan. He is ordered to try and kill Stonefur. Though he has to get assistance from Blackfoot, he still ended up murdering Stonefur, giving him one charge of murder. After the fall of TigerClan with Tigerstar's death, Darkstripe still proves a problem for the clans. He refuses to take a side in the battle against BloodClan, except one in the Avengeance, as he tries to kill Firestar. However, Graystripe, his own half-brother, ends up killing him. Though this attempted murder took place during a battle, his attempted murder had nothing to do at all with the conflict taking place. Darkstripe could have just stayed home and murdered him later, because his goals had nothing to do with the battle, and everything to do with vengeance. 
Because of that, I am charging this as a count of attempted murder. Also, fun fact, Darkstripe's death was Cherith Baldry's, one of the Aaron's, favorite deaths to write. He did nothing too noticeable in the Dark Forest until Broken Code, where he assisted Ashford in imprisoning the spirits on an island. For that, he can be charged with unlawful imprisonment. I don't know how many spirits there were, so I'll just charge him with a dozen counts. Darkstripe later attacks Root Spring, becoming enraged by the young Tom, who is possessed by Firestar's taunts. This is attempted murder. Root Spring slash Firestar is able to kill him, causing him to fade away. And so he died permanently, once again failing to kill a cat he had tried to kill two times prior. For these charges, I give Darkstripe one year for dereliction of duty, five years for elder abuse, five years for child endangerment, death penalty for aiding and abetting in use of a weapon of mass destruction, a minimum of five years, and a maximum of death for treason. Life for murder. Two counts of life for two cases of first degree attempted murder. 5 to 15 years for a case of second degree attempted murder, up to 60 years for a dozen charges of unlawful imprisonment. Now on to Darkstripe's obsession, Tiger Star. Tiger Star's criminal tendencies date all the way back to his apprentice days. His actions were encouraged by his mentor, Thistleclaw, and even without the prophecy, it is no surprise that he turned out the way he did. On a patrol, Thistleclaw, Bluefur, and Tigerpaw found a young kitty pet on their territory. Thistleclaw gets Tigerpaw to attack the kitty pet named Tiny, wounding him. Bluefur strongly believes that Tigerpaw is going in for a kill and steps in. In the manga, the attack isn't as brutal. However, when it comes to what is considered canon, the super editions are higher up in the hierarchy than the graphic novels and mangas, so I will take Bluefur's word with it and charge him with attempted murder. Moving on to the prophecies begin, he kills Redtail in a battle. Though this occurred in a battle, the death, once again like in Darkstripe's case, had nothing to do with the battle and it was in fact friendly fire, so I will charge him with first degree murder. As I feel like sending Ravenpaw away is a clear sign of premeditation, which means that it wouldn't be second degree. He later attempts to kill Bluestar by setting a trap on the Thunderpath. However, it ends up injuring the Cinderpaw instead, permanently injuring her back leg. He can be charged with both attempted assassination and mutilation for his offense. An often overlooked scene is when he tries to kill Fireheart. The territory is flooded, so Blue Star sends a patrol with Tigerclaw, Fireheart, and Longtail to find an alternative path to the gathering. Tigerclaw asks Fireheart to walk across a narrow, weak branch in hopes of him drowning. However, Longtail calls him back to shore and rescues him. For this, I will charge Tigerclaw with second degree attempted murder. He conspires with Broken Tail to overthrow Blue Star. This is a very easy charge of treason and assassination on Blue Star. In his moons of exile, he finds and kills Running Wind. I will charge this as second degree murder, as it is unlikely that he had selected Running Wind beforehand. Around the time that he becomes the leader, I think, he encounters Graypool at Four Trees. He pretends to be Oakheart in order to get information out of her, hoping to figure out what happened to Blue Star's kits. She realizes that he is not Oakheart and runs away, hitting her head and dying. This is an easy charge of manslaughter, as even if he didn't kill her, he's culpable in, his, in her death, as he made her feel enough fear for her life for her to try and run away from him. He then decides to try and kill off all of ThunderClan, because if he can't become leader, then no one can, least of all that little kitty pet Fireheart. He does this by using a pack of dogs. From this, he can be charged with using a weapon of mass destruction. He kills one cat personally, Brindleface, to supposedly give the dogs a taste for cat, which is obviously murder. During the plan to lead the dogs over to Ravine, Tiger Star pins and tries to kill Fireheart, who then escapes. He then creates Tiger Clan, a fusion of Shadow Clan and River Clan. Under this, he attempts to kill all the Half Clan cats and succeeds in killing one. From this, we get three charges of first degree attempted accessory and murder, and one charge of accomplice to first degree murder. Though he did not kill the cats directly, he gave the order to and did nothing to stop the murder, which makes him an accomplice to it. He can also be charged with four counts of unlawful imprisonment. He attempts to get WingClan to join TigerClan, but they refuse. In order to intimidate them, he kills a young apprentice, Gorsepaw. This is second degree murder. He tries to kill Scourge later for not going along his plans, which I will count as second degree attempted murder as it had nothing to do with the situation at hand. 
He then attempted to kill Firestar beyond the grave later through his son, Hawk Frost. I'll count this as accomplice. Later, he trains Lion Paw in the Dark Forest. I don't think he can be charged for that, though I looked into some gang laws that could possibly apply. However, he later assaulted Lion Paw outright after he assault insulted him. He orders a battle to take place between ThunderClan and ShadowClan, which I'll count as conspiracy. He orders Ivy Pool to kill Ant Pelt, which I'll say is accomplice murder. In all, Tiger Star is charged with up to three years for two counts of second degree attempted murder, three counts of up to life for three issues of first degree attempted murder. I'll put these attempted assassinations in here because that's not a separate charge, I believe. Up to three years for mutilation, life for second degree murder, two life sentences for first degree murder, two life sentences for first degree murder accomplice, 15 years for a second degree attempted murder accomplice charge, four counts of life for four charges of first degree attempted murder accomplice, 10 to life for treason, two to six years for manslaughter, death for use of a weapon of mass destruction, up to 40 years for four counts of unlawful imprisonment, two to 20 for assault. That's the end of his list of crimes. That's a lot in total. Did you like this video? If so, comment some more cats that I can charge down below. Also, please mention if I forgot anything. I'm pretty sure I forgot some stuff for Tiger Star, and I'd hate to see him slip out of any jail time that he could possibly get. If you liked this video, feel free to subscribe. I make Wings of Fire and Warrior Cats videos pretty often, and your support would mean a lot to me. And to those who've already subscribed, thank you for your continued support. I wouldn't have gone here without y'all. Peace, Rogan out.